Hello friends. In this video, we will be synthesizing isoamyl acetate by the Fischer esterification reaction between isoamyl alcohol and acetic acid. Chemicals required for this synthesis are 15 ml of isoamyl alcohol, 20 ml of glacial acetic acid, and 4 ml of 98% sulfuric acid. Start by fixing a 100 ml round bottom flask on a stand using a clamp and add 15 ml of isoamyl alcohol to it. It is also called isopentyl alcohol. Add 20 ml of glacial acetic acid. Then 4 ml of concentrated 98% sulfuric acid was added in small portions using a glass pipette. You can clearly notice a color change in the round bottom flask immediately after the addition of the sulfuric acid. The round bottom flask was equipped with a Dimroth condenser and was placed in a heating mantle. The mixture was heated to reflex for 1 hour. Let us see the reaction occurring here. This synthesis proceeds via the classic Fischer esterification reaction. Isoamyl alcohol reacts with acetic acid in the presence of sulfuric acid to form isoamyl acetate. After 1 hour of the reflex, the system was dismantled and the reaction mixture was allowed to cool down to room temperature. After that, the contents of the round bottom flask was dumped into around 150 ml of ice cold water. A point to note here is that the water should be ice cold, otherwise the heat produced when the concentrated sulfuric acid is dissolving in water would cause the liquid to splash everywhere. Once everything is added to the beaker, we see a dark brown upper layer and that is the isoamyl acetate in its crude form. Now we will proceed with the purification. The contents of the beaker was poured into a separatory funnel and the layers were allowed to separate. The upper layer was collected and transferred to a smaller separatory funnel. It was then rinsed with a 10% sodium carbonate solution and this would remove any excess acid present in it. A second washing with water was also given. Finally, the product was transferred to a round bottom flask and hydrous sodium sulfate was used to dry the product. We can see the sodium sulfate crystals freely flowing in the bottom of the flask and this indicates that the drying is complete. The dry product was transferred to a distillation setup and was distilled. Everything that distilled between 128 degree to 138 degree Celsius was collected. Finally, we get a clear distillate with the sweet smell of bananas. The final product was then stored in a glass vial. Now let us move on to the calculation part. Here the limiting reactant is isoamyl alcohol. So we will be calculating the yield based on the amount of isoamyl alcohol used. Here we have taken 12 grams of isoamyl alcohol. So the theoretical yield should be 17 grams. Practical yield was 9.6 grams. So the percentage yield is 56 percentage. That's all in this video. Hope you have enjoyed the video. These are all my Patreon supporters who are financially helping me so that I am able to purchase new equipments and chemicals required for doing new videos. You can also support me via Patreon or PayPal. The links to both of them are given in the description. Once again, thank you for watching. Do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell button for notifications regarding my future videos. Thank you.